in the past I've shown you a video that shows some of the rocks I've collected mainly from Crater of Diamond State Park. I've got chunks of lamperite here and here and all around and other rocks, you know, conglomerates that I've found around. This is actually a blue Mar Epiclastic, uh, which is one of the five types of uh, lamperite found at the Crater of Diamonds. There were, geologists say, multiple pyroclastic intrusions, so this is one of them. This actually was blue, this huge one was uh, blue like these, <clears throat> and it sat out in the weather for 25 years now, and it's since rusted. There's enough iron in it that it rusted. And then I've got shell conglomerates because this used to be a shallow sea here. And this is a big chunk of petrified wood. Anyway, just various uh, specimens around. But what I want to focus on today are, uh, these are agates that I have taken out of the crater of Diamond State Park over time. Just different ones I've found while washing. And... Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what agate is. Uh, it's a banded variety of chalcedony, and chalcedony is a cryptocrystalline uh, form of silica, like chert, flint, and jasper, and there's a lot of jaspers at the park. But uh, it's a cryptocrystalline silica and can be found other places besides just a crater of diamonds. And uh, some of the other agates are even prettier than these. I used to have some really nice ones, but I've let friends carry off the, the pretty ones. But uh, agates are primarily formed within volcanic and metamorphic rocks. Now, metamorphic means to change. Um, I wanted to show you as a backdrop for these pretty plain uh, agates. A guy who watches my videos, Ralph Watson collected this piece of agate at the Crater of Diamond State Park and sliced it and sent it to me. Now, is that not beautiful? I, I think so. It's really got some lovely character. I've got a slice that looks like a slab of bacon, and this kind of does. Now, I want to uh, point out something to you. This does not really have much red on it. There is some right in here. Uh, not really much on the ends, but this is very red. Well, he has polished this side, so when he cut it, when the blade cut through there, there was a lot of friction and heat, and it turned that iron red. Uh, it brought out the red. I want to show you uh, right here in my rock garden, there used to be a big tree. We had it cut down and sold the timber and a stump was left so I wanted to burn the stump and I had all these rocks around it and I burn it and the heat from it made this conglomerate which has a lot of brown in it turn red where it was associated with the heat and this one is red associated with the heat of this stump burning well in my opinion this agate is red along that seam because of the friction of the saw blade and then the sanding. He polished this side. It's real pretty. Very nice agate. But anyway, my thanks to a YouTube viewer, Ralph Watson, who just took it upon himself to mail this to me. And I'm really glad to have this piece of crater agate. And so when you're at the Crater of Diamonds, keep your eye open for specimens of agate especially where some of the regulars are washing uh, they'll find this in their top screen and toss it out a lot of the times but um, this is post volcanic mineralization it doesn't have anything directly to do with the volcanoes except the volcanoes made everything hot there and this agate chalcedony silica formed in seams, like in the creeks, uh, creeks and things, as a result of hydrothermals, which is hot waters. And the waters were hot because of the volcanic activity. So anyway, that's just a little uh, something about agates and uh, 
my great big thanks go out to Ralph Watson for sending me this nice specimen. I, I really like it and appreciate it.